this is the energy vibration um this is the energy vibration um reading for the gemini sun moon horizon sign for the second week of june i want to say thank you for being here go and pick up your um a birthday readings okay so check out when you were born which week the week dates are there and go check out um whoopsie daisy oh gemini 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 so i see the eight of cups gemini you're leaving something behind in this week whatever is happening and to inspire i see you're turning your back to a situation on monday and you're looking forward whatever this situation that was transpiring you're moving forward you have no worries anymore you're definitely um not worrying anymore and that is good i see you're tired gemini's whatever is transpiring you gemini's are very very tired i see truths is coming out about a liberan or a legal issue um truths are going to be coming out I see the end is coming to the cycle. So if you Gemini's were divorcing and have some legal issues or have issues with a Libran, I see you're finding out the truth of a Libran and I see the cycle is going to be over. I see um, long-term stability is going to be here. I see some of you could be buying a house. I see some of you, your wishes and dream didn't come out about a situation with a house. And I see that you're going to be walking away and turning your back at this situation. So um, some of you could have been having some issues with a house and whatever that was transpiring, it didn't come out the way you wanted it and you're going to be leaving it behind. Okay, so I guess that that is the news that you get on um, Monday where um, things wasn't there. So Monday is going to be an emotional day because you're turning your back on something. Tuesday is a good day because you're not worried anymore. Wednesday is a day where you're finding out something. You're going within and seeing the truth about something. Thursday, you're going to completely realize what is happening and what is transpiring. And the energy of the world is here where a cycle is ending on Friday. On Saturday, um, I see happiness and joy in the house. On Sunday, it's not really what you wanted, but you're letting it go. So the weekend looks good. So what we're seeing is that um, you are successful, overcome a situation. You're turning your back and you have received a lot of money. So however that is happening and transpiring is that you're turning your back to a situation um, from the past and uh, you're coming in and being very successful. A whole lot of money is coming in on Monday. On Tuesday, the worries is over because you are financial stable, a Gemini, and this is good. And you have overcome a deceptiveness where um, a fire sign man could have used his power over you and did some deceptiveness or a deceptive business person has done some deceptiveness. You have successfully overcome this. News is going to be coming in okay um um but if you're in business you could be getting a lot of sales so um definitely a cycle is not yet over you are moving away but a cycle is not over your financial stability so between monday and wednesday you're going to be finding out that you have successfully overcome a situation your your worries is no more I see you um, in the relationship between you and a fire sign person. I see money is coming out. I see that you're going within and, and trying to figure out a situation with a Libran and an Aquarian. Okay. How does this situation with a Libran and Aquarian fit in your world? I see a new start is going to be coming in. Um, truths are coming up and I see you're going to be receiving a new start. Um, money is here so some of you could be helping out an Aquarian however this is transpiring money is here a cycle is over with some deceptive play that was transpiring um, that you were not aware of and a cycle is over because a cancer have created some deceptive play and a, and the cycle is over I see you're ending a relationship with a cancer on Friday whatever is to inspire I see you definitely ending a relationship with a cancer on Friday and you're moving forward with your life so as we look in this week is that I see financial stability is going to be coming back and you're going to be having a new start but as we look over the whole week is that uh, um, you end a cycle with a deceptive cancer. Whoever this cancer is, is very deceptive because you found out the deceptive play of this cancer. So it could be a partner, 
we're going to be seeing who this person is. It could be a partner that you were dealing with. This person was very deceptive. In the weekend, I see you're seeing the truth about a situation with um, at work or at home. You're seeing definitely the truth. And I see you're going to be having a new start because you're finding out um, that there was some deceptive play with a Libran and an Aquarian and a Cancer. You realize that and you're seeing it now what is happening. So a lot of you were hoping for um, a lot of... Uh, new expectation to come in in your world some of you could have ended a relationship and i see some of you are dealing with a mother figure and some of you this is the new start with a new relationship with a mother figure and for some of you this is materialistic wealth that you have so your materialistic wealth is going to be balanced out so this is going to be good so what we're seeing here is a new start is coming up a cycle is over a new start is coming up you're seeing the truth to some deceptive play that has transpired in the past with some money however this is coming up and it's transpiring truths are coming out that a fire sign person this could have been a young sagittarian has done some deceptiveness is it on the work floor is it a brother is it a family member but this is coming out and it has to do with a house that a young fire sign person in the past have created some deceptiveness in order to create wealth and to give someone else a new start under your information or um create some deceptive um some deceptive agreement and it came out okay so when we look um we're looking at the weekend and we're realizing that on friday you're seeing the truth um to how your materialistic wealth has gone so um a situation with a cancer um i see you're going to be ending a relationship with a cancer um because um, a situation with a house didn't work out for you guys and I see you found out that there was some deceptive play that was created by a young um, Sagittarius man in the past and the truth is coming out so I see um, you receive really your material well because people saw um, the deceptiveness that has played um, but now you're realizing and it has something to do with a mortgage or an investor or a refinancial company that have a young fire sign person. They're seeing the truth of some um, um, some deceptive play that this young fire sign person has done in the past. And the truth is coming out that they did something to create some deceptiveness. What is transpiring for you, Geminis, is that a new star is going to be coming in. And... Uh, the deceptiveness that was at play is going to be coming out. Your worries is going to be over because you receive the financial help that you wanted to buy a house or um, to get a new place, a new apartment. This came out. I see some of you are looking for a new love um, in the weekend. OK, um, however, that is transpiring. And I see you. Some of you could be reconnecting, going home to visit your parents in the weekend. So, um, mm, yeah um yeah there is a lot that is going on um all right i love your week so far because this truth is coming out and they're finding out some fault some fault contract that was set up by a young sagittarian man and how much money this person has uh, stolen under using your name and uh, your partner name and that sort of a thing and they're seeing the connection and the deceptiveness that has played so let's get in this and see what is happening so i see you turn away because you overcome some deceptiveness you're not worrying because your financial stability um whatever that was transpiring where a theft has created in the past a tall moment came and um you're walking away because you successfully um see the deceptive play and your financial stability i see um a tower moment came down for a young fire sign person that has done some deceptiveness and i see you turning your back and walking away because this young fire sign person has stolen a lot of money and they find this out i see a huge lawsuit is going to be coming up against this fire sign person a huge lawsuit and i see you're not worried 
um, about what has transpired because a huge lawsuit is going to come up against this person for some deceptiveness, what they have done. They have stolen. So a fire sign person have stolen a lot of money and tried to get away, but they didn't get away with it because people are now seeing what this young fire sign person has done, that they have used um, your information or stolen a lot of money um, under your name. I see a lot of sadness. A lot of sadness is coming up for a Libran. They have find out what a Libran has done and a lot of sadness is coming up for a Libran. Um, however, this is transpiring. I see that some of you Gemini showed up a Libran for some deceptiveness and some of you um, ladies, 50 years and older are going to be receiving some um, information. Just ladies, 60 years and older, is going to be receiving some information. A whole lot of sadness is coming up for you ladies because of a theft where you could have been connected to and they're seeing the truth about what has transpired. I see the energy of the lover is coming up um, Thursday, Friday, um, where you're finding out that a, pi a, um, a cancer was very deceptive and this cancer wants a new start. No, don't give this cancer a new start. You're making the biggest mistake if you do that. A debt, a transition is coming up for a cancer and a deceptive play. So some of you were connected to a cancer is a very deceptive person and they have found out uh, this deceptive play, what this cancer has done and the lies and deceptiveness. I see some of you are going to be receiving a message on Friday, Friday, Saturday. So let a message could be coming in Friday, Saturday. Um, that is going to be, you're telling this person I'm ending it. Okay. I'm not helping you and I'm ending um, the relationship and it is a cancer. I see you're going to be very successful at having this wonderful, wonderful new start. You're going to be very successful and having this very wonderful new start um, because people are seeing the truth. You're going to be successful over a Libran, a deceptive Libran that has done some deceptiveness with an Aquarian. I see you're going to be very successful. You, um, Gemini, getting over this situation. News is going to be coming in um, to you, Gemini, whether it's email, text message about a house news is going to be coming in, in the weekend. I see you Gemini's are looking for love. So this is good. You Gemini's are looking for love, especially the ones where that was hurt by a deceptive, um, cancer person who have deceived you a lot of money. I see you Gemini's are looking for love in the weekend. I see you're going to visit your parents. I see you're looking for love. I see you want to reconnect um, with um, your, um, um, your, you know, you want to connect with uh, your, your mom, whatever is transpiring. I see um, some of you are looking for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Um, I see a lot of nurturing. I see you're nurturing someone. I see you're starting out a new relationship with someone and you're nurturing this person. So the focus is over financial stability. I see um, that uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, you're going to be finding out that a real deceptive man, um, for some of you is a Taurus man, has tried to steal a lot of money. A tower moment came down on this person. Um, and I see um, some of you men are saddened for a legal issue. Some of you men are definitely saddened with a legal issue. However, that is transpiring. I see some of you women are going to be saddened because you you women 50 year, 60 years and older have to pay back a lot of money. I see a lot of sadness for you ladies. Um, some of you want a new start. Okay, the new start is here for but you ladies. I don't see this new start. It's coming in. A lot of transition is going to be happening. Then I see the world and I see um, whatever um, some of you were in a relationship with a Pisces, with a Cancer. A Cancer has done a lot of deceptiveness. You're going to be receiving message. A transition is coming in. You're going to be successful over this person. Let this person go. This person is going to be wanting to connect with you. No, don't connect with this person. Truths come out about a Libran and some deceptiveness that a Libran has done. They're finding out that this Libran was very, very deceptive. I see some someone, you're going to be getting a message from um, a Pisces or a Scorpion, pleasure seeking. They want to be in a relationship with you. 
a lot of conversation over a lot of money where um, um, this um, conversation about a lot of money is going to be coming in and they're going to be letting you know of a, um, a theft that a, a young um, Sagittarian who has a, who was an investor or a banker or a, a mortgage broker has uh, stolen a lot of money and they're going to be letting you know you will re um you will receive this money because they're going to be trying to fix the situation but i see that some of you are going to be saddened to know that this person has stolen so much money and use your information and stolen so much money okay I see a new start overseas is going to be coming up for some of you, whatever is transpiring. Um, especially, um, they're seeing the truth and a new start is going to be coming up overseas. Um, for some of you, I see, um, that a, um, Libran, um, is going to be heartbroken. Um, whatever is transpired, they're going to be catching a Libran and seeing the deceptiveness. I see that a Pisces, um, a Cancer wants a new start. It is no do not get back in relationship with this um, person. Is this person a very deceptive either man or woman? Okay, they played you. They played you big time. Let it go, Gemini. Emotional situation because you saw the truth and the deceptiveness that was transpired with a scorpion. You're very emotion. A scorpion and a cancer has done some emotional situation. You're very emotion. You're finding out and seeing the deceptiveness that was created. Some of you are really, really um, feeling so, especially with a child. Um, some of you are going to be having a new start. Some of you are going to be coming out having a new start. But um, some of you, there's a child, a very, very um, deceptive child. You got to be aware from for this very deceptive child. And this could be the ex of you, this cancer. It is a woman. Be aware of this person. I see a young person is going to be reconnecting with you and kind of coming in your life. No, keep this person away from you. It's a very deceptive person. Very, very deceptive. So keep this person away from you. Now, we have two messages. Let's see what is transpiring. Card one, card two. If you choose card one, it is the white tiara sensitivity. You're becoming um, increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationship, environment, situation, and chemistry. Okay? And you guys have um, card two is Master Elmore. So call upon our, uh, Master Elmore to stand in your aura and protect you, clear and shield your energy. So call upon um, Master Elmore in this week, Gemini, to um, stand in your aura and uh, your house and clear and shield your aura and your house and your environment, wherever you are, your car, your vehicle, um, call upon Master Elmore, okay? I do love you guys. I gotta go. I will speak to you. Please remember to like and share this video. Um, false eyed, be careful of a cancer. This cancer is very false. Namaste.